So yeah, the state tournament came around and uh, we're all headed to, to Anchorage. And I was really looking forward to this, mainly to have a chance to redeem ourselves from last year. Uh, and I would say the one thing I was most confident in going into state was our defense and um, the amount of growth I'd seen with these guys in man-to-man -man defense. Um, I was confident in their ability to use that and do it well. I liked our chances with that. We showed up knowing that the first game was a state game and I did not have to motivate them at all. It was great. The guys came out and we were just all over the press. They played lights out on defense and it fueled our offense. And it was just a great way to start the tournament. Later that day, um, we're gonna go eat or something and Tony doesn't want to go because uh, he's throwing up. He can't hold anything down. The next morning, a couple more people have like the sniffles and whatnot. And let's not repeat what happened in Cordova, please. And have guys too sick to play at the state tournament. We were down the whole game against Shish Shishman. Um, and it was honestly the longest hour and a half to two hours of my life of just thinking, here we are, our most awful games we play are early games, and we've come all this way. I did not want to go out there. But nothing was landing, no shots, nothing. And I finally realized we're not going to win this game offensively. Fourth quarter comes, and I think I was feeling a little bit of panic only because we're running out of time. And halfway through the quarter, I finally say, just go full court, man. Go full court, man. And then I pulled Tony aside, who I think didn't hit a three all game long. And I said, keep shooting. And then I pulled Savian at a different time and I said, go get rebounds, him and I. And pretty much what turned into just kind of a fluke, I realized was like a pretty decent game plan because three point shots, whether you know, go in or not, they essentially are entry passes. And with our guys being way taller than that team, I was like, I like our chances rebound. And then Savian finally you know, became uh, that game, I thought, you know, the player of the year in basketball single-handedly dominated the second half of that game. But these guys held it together. They, they didn't buckle. They saw their dreams kind of slipping away. And me, yes, that game sucked to watch and coach, but I was very proud that with as much that was, as much pressure that was on them, as much as that was at stake, these guys, away. that's maturity. When we came into that scanning day, I truly believe that they thought they were going to win because they saw a struggle against Chish. And I could tell by their body language that they had to. I took that personally. I didn't like that. I was so motivated for that game. They were motivated for that game. They wanted to bounce back. They weren't going to be embarrassed again. And right from the tip. The game was kind of close there for a little while, but they, they came ready, and it was fun to watch them purely just dominate. Pretty good little team. But when they came out, man, man, 
and did not let them breathe at all. It was, it was an ass kick. <laughs> it was great. As a competitor to watch those guys do that. The championship game was going to come down to who wanted it. We weren't playing an X's and O's team. We were just going to have to play good basketball. And that's what it was, was good basketball the whole game. Please welcome the I think we went into that game nervous for one reason. We were the number one seed. We had everything to lose. We had the pressure. We had the reputation of getting to that number one seed and earning it throughout the season. We get into that game. And it's just back and forth. We score, they score. We score, they score. Just there is no, there is no uh, runs. It's, you know, basketball usually the two two good teams. It's a game of runs. This team scores eight points. That team scores seven. Back and forth, but it was literally just bucket, bucket. And it was a low-scoring game. It was a great defensive game. The name of the game was who was going to get the most baskets to fall was really what it was going to come down to. And the first half, we had fought to keep it even, or you could say that they had fought to keep it even. Um, but I liked our chances. Out of halftime, I liked our chances, because I knew that, I knew if I was certain about anything, these guys were going to compete until the end. I had seen them do it all year long. Truth be told, the third quarter was heartbreaking. Um, 
We are kind of notorious for having one bad quarter of game against a good team, and the third quarter was it. The defense wasn't necessarily the problem. We just couldn't get shots to fall. We were timid with the ball. We were timid with our shots, mainly because we hadn't been hitting a whole lot all tournament. Um, they were exhausted because, you know, this other team's going to keep fighting. It was, there was just nothing really going our way. And I think at one point that team got up like they did on the 17 points, I think. So, you know, I got desperate. I think we all got desperate because now it was really good. It came down to this last four minutes for the rest of our lives. And I think at that point I put on the full court man to man and we're getting some stops. We're getting some turnovers. We're putting some pressure on them. They're turning the ball over. They're a little empty. We get some breakaway layups. We get a couple threes to fall from. We fight back into this game. We're, we're six points away and then I think we get an and one at some point, and Isaac hits a deep three in the corner, and all of a sudden it's a three point game with less than a minute to go. Heartbreaking, mainly because you see the pain and the loss affect those guys, hurt me more than it could have ever hurt me if I was playing. But one thing's for sure, those guys fought all the way to the very end. And they're going to be great young men if they can learn to do that in every aspect of life, not just basketball. But what those guys need to know is that you know that's not the end for them. That's that's not the the peak of their life. Uh, the peak of life is waking up every day and having a, you know another chance to breathe and um, do something with your life. And um, I think if they choose to approach <clears throat> whatever's next in their lives, like they approach the fourth quarter of that Nelson Island game, regardless of the outcome. They'll be just fine in whatever you know they choose to pursue. And they've taught me a lot as a person myself through watching them compete that way. They've taught me that no matter the score, keep playing, don't give up. And that's what I think defined them the most as a team.